Hey guys, I'm Zen and welcome back to the Basement Dano Dungeon. Today is Saturday, which means we have another epic video. We are going to be unboxing new figures. Check this out, guys. We have a new Jurassic World Legacy Collection playset to unbox. Plenty of new Zoom Riders. I will show you guys 10 latest figures from the Monster Island room. I will show you 50 latest figures from the Jurassic World Lava 2 Midlands, okay? Alright guys, back in the basement, Dino Dungeon, as you can see, I have basically compiled or gathered 100 different figures. The latest one from my collection. Majority of them are from the 2024 collection series, okay? Check this out. What a beautiful sight. Are you guys ready to unbox and to take a look at my latest 100 figures? Let's get right into it. All right, guys, check this out, okay? So what shall we open first? Shall we go with something easy first? How about this one? Oops. Okay, this is a new Zoom Rider. Okay, it's a Giganotosaurus. This is a new figure that has been added to the collection just recently, okay? As you can see, this is the entire set and we actually have a new Conotaurus which I'm quite excited about. So let's open the Giga first. Okay, let's try to open this. Just gonna rip it open. I won't be keeping the box anyway. So let's open this get this out so what do we have right here a new giganotosaurus zoom rider okay how many of you guys actually you know have giganotosaurus as your favorite carnivorous dinosaur let me know down below so this is a beautiful one i love the color it's not too green so this is actually pretty cool so you you can actually draw this back pull this back and release it Ooh, that's very cool and you can see the wheels are spinning beautiful zoom rider a new species this will be added to our mini shelves and speaking of mini shelves i will be installing a new mini shelf so stay tuned for that okay all right so now let's open the huge one right at the back but before we do that we have to remove these two figures first I'm not too sure whether you guys have seen this in my previous video. These are the new Smash and Squish dinos from the Captive Collection. So they are very, very cute. They are both from Surprise Eggs, okay? So if you have not seen the video, go check it out. I think it was like two weeks ago. So it's time for us to get this box over to the front, to the front, so we can actually unbox this. So this is a new Legacy Collection, Jurassic World Legacy Collection and this is actually Barry Sambin from the very first Jurassic World movie. Awesome stuff. Okay, so let's open this. It actually comes with a new Velociraptor, Charlie. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. How do we open this? Let's open this from the side, I suppose. Alright. There are still a couple of new playsets that I have yet to get, so hopefully I'll be able to get them soon. You know, I'm doing a bad job of opening this, to be honest, right now. Okay, I have totally destroyed the box, but it's fine. I won't be keeping the box, so it doesn't really matter. So let's have a look. Wow, looks gorgeous. So we do have a new Raptor, which you can add to your Jurassic World Facts app. How many of you guys are actually super excited about that? I am, okay? So you can pause the video and scan this code to add this new Velociraptor Charlie to your collection. Awesome stuff, and this is a beautiful rendition of Charlie. There are definitely lots of Charlie back in the past, but this one, I feel it's the best one. We gotta get the machine gun out, okay? Probably not machine gun, a tranquilizer, I suppose. And Barry Sandbean out. And guess where I will be displaying Barry Sandbean? Probably with the vehicle, I'm not too sure. Or we could, or we could display Barry Sandbean at the basement human shelf. That is a name that you guys actually gave it to me, okay? That's the basement 
human shelf, okay? Probably we can place it right there or we should be displaying it together with the vehicle. I want you guys to comment down below. How should we display Barry Sambin with or without the vehicle? Let me know down below. I will put two comments and I want you guys to like it. The one which has the most likes, I will be flowing it, okay? So it will either be on the vehicle or it will be separately. So this is Barry Sambin. So if you guys do not know who he is, he's basically Owen, Owen Grady's partner, you know, sort of like, um, you know, colleague in Jurassic World. And this is a beautiful gun. We can actually let him hold it, I guess. Let's try. Okay, it's gonna be difficult to hold it, I suppose, when he's driving. So let's, let's just... Oh, it's, it's, not, it's not possible. You have to release him. Okay, but you can see he's tied on to the vehicle, which is pretty cool. So let's get him out. Okay. He's basically tied to the vehicle. I'm trying to just... Okay, let's just cut it loose. Let's just release him. Okay. So, yep, you can see he's in a very weird position right now. Okay, that's Barry Sandbin. Very cool. Just gonna place it right at the back and let's move on to our other figures, okay? So that is a very, very cool Barry Sandbin figure. Pretty happy. And now we have to scan this into our Jurassic World fact set. Let's do this. All right, guys, are you ready for us to scan this? Let's do this. So this is the Jurassic World Facts app. It's available on the um, Play App Store and Google Play Store. So this is basically Charlie, the lost raptor Charlie in a forest or jungle. Very cool. And let's turn this into night mode. So this is basically night mode. I think you can press and hold to light up the flare so that you are, you are able to see in the dark. Very cool. Let's press this. It can be found in, you know, different parts of the world. It weighs the weight of only four cats. It's pretty lightweight, of course. And um, yeah, and let's try this, the AR feature. Okay. Let's scale it down a little bit and you can actually rotate it. Beautiful. Velociraptor is known as the Swift Caesar. You guys should know it or you can just call it the Speedy Teeth. Raptor means teeth and Velor basically, Velocity basically means speed. So Speedy Teeth. Alright, so that's a very very cool Barry Sandbin set. Hopefully I'll be able to get the other set that is actually an ATV. Okay, next up, let's open this. This is a new Conotaurus, a new repaint. This is the previous version, okay? This is the previous Jurassic World version and this is the Jurassic World Dominion version but they didn't come up with the broken horn which is quite a pity. So let's open this. Yep, these two are new figures as you can see. Spinosaurus and Gigar are basically the latest one. We already had a Triceratops, Indominus Rex, T-Rex, Blue and Colosaurus. Pyro and Indoor Raptor. We have all of them. So some of them are actually new, which I'm quite happy with. Okay, so this is a new one, a new color scheme. So let's get this out. And we have two Conotaurus right here. They are known as the meat eating bull. Let's try to have a battle. Head on towards each other and see which one actually flips. Let's see. Maybe, maybe they won't, who knows. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like this color variation more. It looks so much cooler. Black and red is just a very, very nice combination. Okay, so next up, let's have a look at the Spinosaurus, which is a new species added to the Zoom Riders line as well. So, yep, oops. Totally destroyed the box as per usual. Let's get this out. Okay. Spinosaurus, yep, that's right. This is a new species added to the Zoom Riders line. Very cool. Not too sure that you guys have seen this before. Mosasaurus, 
Apparently, this Mosasaurus is actually quite rare. For the rest, I won't be opening them because we already have them, but I have no choice. In order for me to get this three, I have to get both the sets. So I basically have no choice. Yep, because the seller only sold it as a set. Okay, next up, it's time for us to take a look at my latest additions to my collection. In our previous video, I'm not too sure whether you have seen this, we have a super awesome custom made Ultimasaurus right over here. It is so beautiful if you check this out. It comes with a battle damage mechanism or functionality. This was actually sent to us by Blue Fury Designs. Greta, you know, she is an absolutely talented per, um, artist and she's very, very kind. You can check out her Instagram, Blue Fury Design. So this is an Ultimasaurus, which is a Jurassic Park hybrid dinosaur, okay? It consists of DNA of different dinosaurs such as Triceratops, Velociraptor, and Kylosaurus, Tyrannosaurus Rex, you name it. It's super awesome. Last week, we actually added two new figures to our collection, the Captive Collection Color Change Figures. I'm not too sure whether you guys have seen the previous video. If you drop it into the cold water and the warm water, they will change color. So there are three different colors for each figure. Neutral color, cold color, and warm color. Super cool, super cool. Okay, the next one which I am super excited about, a lot of you guys have been asking me where you can actually get this Epic Attack Baryonyx. You know, like I've told you guys, Mrs. Dan got it for, for me from China. I know it's not released in many countries, so China is the only place right now, I think, I'm not too sure, that has this figure. This is a beautiful figure. You can pause the video and scan this to a Jurassic World X app. And let's try this again. Now, if you press this, it will light up. If you press right here, the neck will light up. And you can see they have actually made the claw extremely obvious, the first claw. Baryonyx is basically known as the heavy claw because of that particular one claw that is standing out from the rest. Okay, next up, I have shown you guys these two smash and squish, you know, mini plushies. No, not exactly plushies, but have you guys seen these two? Okay, these are Blue and Conotaurus. They came from this eggs right over there guys, these two eggs. So I have two of them uh, right here, two additional ones. Very, very cool figures. Okay, next up, let's take a look at another of my favorites, Gryposuchus. Epic Evolution Gryposuchus. There are more Epic Attack and more Epic Evolution figures coming up. And there are going to be even more figures more figures coming up really soon because of the later season of the Camp Cretaceous and there will be a new Jurassic World movie in 2025. I am super excited about that. Another new figure, Epic Attack Pyroraptor. Do you guys know there is another Epic Attack Herrerasaurus which I am super excited about. Hopefully, I'll be able to get my hands on it really soon. I need the help of you guys. I can't remember what does Ever Ceratops mean? If you guys know, let me know down below. Ever Ceratops, a new species added to the Ceratopsian line. Awesome stuff. Very awesome stuff. New Venator. I like this figure as well. No sounds, no sounds, and it has retractable cues. And speaking of sounds, I need an opinion from you guys. Okay, check this out. This is the Soundstrike Majungasaurus. As you can hear, listen to it. The sounds are not really working because the batteries are weak. So I have a question for you guys. Should I replace the batteries or should I just remove the batteries? Because the batteries of this Soundstrike figures, they run out very, very fast. So I need the help of you guys. Let me know down below. Okay, another very cool figure, 2024. Epic Attack, Tyrannosaurus Rex. We have to switch off the lights. I mean, turn, turn down the lights a little bit. 
Epic Attack, Tyrannosaurus Rex, beautiful figure that comes with so many different cool buttons, cool functions, cool features. Yep, this is also from 2024. 2024, you know, you can't mention 2024 without mentioning this one. Okay, this is the Ruthless Rampage Allosaurus. Which one is better? Extreme Damage Allosaurus or Ruthless Rampage Allosaurus? I'm not too sure. I want you guys to let me know. But I like this a lot. You can actually spin this little wheel. The head will actually, the neck will move up, the jaw will open, and you can see its beautiful dark blue tongue. Only the Allosaurus has dark blue tongue. I mean in Jurassic World, very cool. And it comes with retractable spikes. So Allosaurus is known as the different lizard. I can't remember why it is known as a different lizard because I think it has some differences in terms of its fossil. Not exactly sure what is the characteristic of the fossils that are different. But yeah, somehow I remember it has something to do with the fossils. Next, we have the Ericsinotosaurus right here. It looks like a Carnotaurus, but it is not a Carnotaur. It is not part of the Carnotaurus family, okay? It is an Abelosaur, okay? From the Abelosauridae family. Very, very beautiful. Ericsinotosaurus, it's not easy to pronounce it, the, the name. And of course, it comes with a scan code as well. This is also from Epic Evolution. So far in this year, my favorite line has got to be the Epic Evolution. Have you guys seen this? There are two different versions. Two different versions of this Epic Evolution Triceratops. Both have no sounds. Two different color variations. This one apparently is slightly more rare than the other one. I'm not too sure. You guys let me know. Okay, let's put this one right at the back. Okay, next up, let's have a look at some minifigures. Have you guys seen my color changing minifigures? We have the Tyrannosaurus Rex, Conotaurus, and all these figures, they will actually change. My favorite one has got to be the Indoraptor because once you drop it into the cold water, it actually turns into purple. Very, very cool. I love it. And this one is one of the ultra rare Dino Trackers minifigure, Cantrosaurus, gorgeous stuff. This figure is not a Jurassic World figure. These two are actually from Jurassic Park. We got them pretty recently from a newly box, a newly um, unpackaged box. Very, very cool, Spinosaurus. And this one seems to be a Velociraptor. Both of them are pretty old. Or like I think they are at least 24 years old. I think it was from the year 2000. Yes, that's right. Year 2000 right here. So 24 years old. Oh my goodness, pretty, pretty old. Okay, next up, let's have a look at other figures. Hesperosaurus, Epic Evolution, beautiful. It comes with a little wheel. So Hesperosaurus, it's a stegosaur. As you can see, it has plates that looks like a stegosaurus. It also has spikes that resembles the spikes of from a stegosaurus as well. And speaking of herbivores, this is the Habitat Defender, the biggest Triceratops figure so far. And speaking of biggest, did you guys heard the news. Did you guys hear the news about the Super Colossal Allosaurus? Yep, I think I heard some news about Super Colossal Allosaurus. I can't wait for it. And if it comes, we have to place it right on top. Right on top of the shelves. There should be some space. There are some like, you know, PNSO figures right there. We, we should probably clear them off. I'm not too sure. Yep, I'm thinking of, you know, selling them off or giving them away of PNSO collection. I'm not too sure because I'm running out of space, guys. Yep. So next up, let's take a look at this. This is not exactly super new, but it was released very late last year or earlier this year. This is the Boreallo Powder. Beautiful and color saw right here. Okay, gorgeous stuff. If I'm not wrong, this is from the Danger Pack. And recently, there have been more Fierce Changers. This is an Indominus Rex Fierce Changers, one of the latest editions. And if you take a look at what's inside, let's see, it actually transformed into a Stegosaurus. Oh, a Cantrosaurus. I beg your pardon. 
Okay, I just want to show you guys how it looks like, you know, for a Kentrosaurus. But I don't really want to transform it because I prefer to display it as a carnivore. I think majority of us, we actually love carnivores. I'm not too sure. I'm speaking for myself and I'm speaking for, you know, majority of my viewers. But of course, there are a lot, lots of dinosaurs who actually prefer herbivores. So, yeah. And we have a Dimetrodon. Let's transform this. Let's transform this. This is a Dimetrodon. If I'm not wrong, it transformed into a Carnivorous Dinosaur as well. So let's transform this. I don't mind displaying it as the other Carnivorous Dinosaur because I haven't really seen it for quite some time. So, oh, it's, a, it's an Allosaurus. It transformed into an Allosaurus. That's pretty cool. So we can actually retract the claws. I mean, the Dimetrodon, to be honest, could also use the long claws. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so this is the Allosaurus. You have to move the arms like that. Um, some people actually feel that fierce changes they don't look good, but I actually like them. They are very fun. I know kids would definitely love them quite a bit. Okay? Next, have you guys seen this? This fuzzy little hatchlings. This is actually a new variation. So we have a Tyrannosaurus Rex fuzzy hatchling right here blue bumpy and all of this were released earlier this year 2024 we also have a triceratops it has a felt texture which is very nice it's different from the previous actually so very cool and here we have in the padasaurus beautiful gorgeous star have you guys seen this i don't think many of you guys have seen this this is a very old figure but i just want to show you guys you know, there is actually another variation when it comes to the Zoom Riders. This is the Big Head Tyrannosaurus Rex Zoom Rider. I've, I like this. This is quite well done. The detailing on this figure is actually pretty surprising. It's, pre it's surprisingly good. Okay? Alright. Next up, another cool figure that was released earlier this year. Megalosaurus. Not a Megaraptor. I got confused with you know the mega raptor previously so yeah pretty cool this one is the epic evolution as well one of my favorite strike is this strike attack i can't remember is this strike attack i think so this is one of my favorite ones caprosuchus really gorgeous stuff and i love the fact that you can actually push it down like this so it's much more durable than the savage strike where you have to twist the tail you know the jaw will move the the twisting of the tail action actually hurts the figure quite a bit so i like this a lot okay just trying to stand every figure single figure okay next and not a new figure plesiosaurus released pretty early this year as well it's known as the thin plate lizard and what do we have right here? Dacosuchus or Dacosuchus, which is a Mosasaur. Very cool, very cool. It looks very much like a Mosasaurus, but it's not. I can't remember what the name actually means. So if you guys know, drop a comment down below. And Ornithochirus, I almost forgotten the name of this prehistoric flying reptile. Ornithochirus is also a new release. And we have an Eoraptor right here, a very, very small little figure. It came along with the Stagoros. Where is my Stagoros? Did I bring it? Right here, guys. Stagoros. A tiny little Ankylosaur. Yep, you can see it has a tail, which is... I wouldn't say it's similar because the Ankylosaur actually has a club at the end of the tail. So it's different, to be honest. Okay, here's another one. I knew Soros that came along with a playset. Beautiful figure. I love this. And what is this? Trijangosaurus. Another one which was released early this year. Gorgeous stuff. Strike Attack. Strike Attack. I think Strike Attack is the name for it. I'm not exactly sure, but I think so. And a new Atrociraptor. I think this was released late last year, but it's part of the 2024 series as well. Gorgeous stuff. And what do we have right here? 
Adiphosaurus. I almost forget about its name as well. Adiphosaurus. Strike attack, I suppose. Beautiful one. It looks like a Dimetrodon. Okay. A prehistoric cynocyte like the Dimetrodon. Gorgeous stuff. We have a couple of new raptors. You know, there's way too many raptors for me to actually, you know, remember its name. This is actually, it looks like a fierce force velociraptor from the previous series, but very cool. I think this is also from the Epic Evolution series, if I'm not wrong. Okay. Another Epic Attack figure, Velociraptor. This is a very cool one that comes with the button right here. I like this series quite a bit. We have the Gribosaurus. Gribosaurus Strike Attack, gorgeous star as well. I like the Strike Attack because I feel they are much more durable than the previous Savage Strike. I don't really like the fact that you have the banded tail, but this one pushing it down seems to be way better, I feel. And what do we have right here? Oh my goodness. Is this a post? No, it's not a posture suit because I can't remember the name. Let's let's scan it. Let's scan it. We have to scan it. Oh my goodness. I can't remember the name. Can you guys believe it? Can you guys believe it? I'm pretty sure I know the name, but I just can't remember it at this point of time. So kind of sad. Yeah, but it happens, guys. It happens. So please forgive me. Presto Suckers. Yes, how can I even forget that? It's such a simple name. Presto Suckers. And we have our Crapo Suckers right here. Let's make sure it. Let's make sure I got it right. Because I don't want to give you guys like wrong info. This should be the Capro Suckers. Capro Suckers. Not Crapo. It's Capro. Capro Suckers. I got the pronunciation wrong just now so apologies okay caprosuchus not craprosuchus i think i call it craprosuchus i'm not too sure okay next we have the shin handosaurus which was a feathered dinosaur discovered in china if i'm not wrong this is from the danger pack just a very basic figure but i like it quite a bit regali ceratops it's one of the latest ceratops figures. figure this is the wild raw Okay, Wild Raw comes with a little switch. Very cool. Regalisarsus is actually known as the Royal Horn Face because it has a very magnificent and royal looking crown. So they actually call it the Royal Crown Face. Very, very cool name, I must admit. So I'm gonna put it right up here. Next, we have the Pianiskisaurus. Yep, Pianiskisaurus. I can't remember the meaning of, it, meaning of its name as well. I think it's uh, it's named after the paleontologist that actually who actually discovered it. Okay. Next we have the Genodex series. Not exactly very new, but this is a very cool one. Okay, I think let's call this a strike attack. I can't even remember. There's just way too many series names. Gigant Spinosaurus. Very cool. Okay, this is actually from the... Let's call this a strike attack. To be honest, I can't remember a lot of the series names. Okay, let's move on. Poposaurus Danger Pack. Very, very cool figure. This one, it's very nice. Poposaurus, many of you guys actually told me it is not a dinosaur. It looks like a baryonyx, guys, right? Okay, very cool. I hope they make a bigger figure of this figure. That, that will be super awesome. Okay. Herrerasaurus. Speaking of Herrerasaurus, I've told you guys that there will be a new Herrerasaurus figure coming out really soon. I can't wait for it. It is part of the Epic Attack series. Now we take a look at some of the minifigures that have been added to our collection lately. The Ultra Ran Pseudoceratops from the Dino Tracker series. We have the Quadlers from the Dino Tracker series as well. We have the Indominus Rex, color changing Indominus Rex. You drop it into cold water. I think you drop it into warm water, it will actually change into white color, which is very cool. The Matrodon, very awesome stuff. Ultra rare, ice cool looking Pyroraptor. This is also one of the new figures. Stereosinosaurus from the Dino Tracker series, very cool. 
very cool. I actually like this color scheme more than the the previous one. Color changing. No, this is not a color changing. This is the the Lophosaurus from the Dino Tracker series. Color changing Atrociraptor Tiger. Beautiful one. I can't remember the color when it when it's being deep into cold and warm water. Check out the previous video if you guys um have not seen it. And this one, if I'm not wrong, is the color changing the Lophosaurus. And this is the Dino Trackers Giganotosaurus. Very, very cool color scheme. Hopefully, Mattel can come up with a new Gigar with this color. That would be nice. Gigar. How do you pronounce Giganotosaurus? A lot of you guys actually told me I pronounce it with the R, which is wrong. So it's Giga or Giga. <laughs> I'm not too sure. Oh, yes, there's still one fuzzy little Stegosaurus. Okay, and and Dominus Rex Dino Tracker series, Dino Tracker series, very cool. It has a new kind of um paint scheme. You can you can see there are like smudges of like brown color on his body instead of just gray. Color changing Mosasaurus, very cool figure. I like this. I think you drop it into either cold or warm, it turns white. Very very cool color. Monolophosaurus from the Dino Tracker series. Indoraptor from the Tygo from, from the Tygo from the Dino Tracker series. We have the color the color changing one is so so cool. You can see it has a metallic paint on it. It looks so cool. Yep. I love this one the most. Among all the color changing figures. Cantosaurus, color changing figure as well. Gorgeous stuff. Giganotosaurus color changing. It actually looks the same as the big one at the back. Parasaurolophus, Dino Trackers. Not a huge fan of this Parasaurolophus, to be honest. The pose doesn't look appealing to me personally. And the Dimorphodon right here. We have two last figures right here before we call it a day. We have the Dino Trackers. Ultra Rare Ice T Rex and the color changing Pyroraptor right here. Gorgeous star. I'm not too sure whether I have missed out any figures. I don't think so. Yep, they're all right here on the table. My favorite figure in today's video, I'm not too sure. I'm gonna go with the Baryonyx, the Epic Attack Baryonyx. How about you? Oh, there's one last figure Super Colossal. Indoraptor. We haven't seen her for a long time or him. I can't remember. Is Indoraptor a male? I think so. I think it's male. So we haven't seen him for a super long time. So hi. Yeah, let me know what other figures you guys want to see in the next video. I'll be happy to bring it back and show you guys. And yeah, take a quick tour. You know, the basement dino dungeon is basically getting bigger and bigger with the collection. And as well as, you know, I'm actually converting part of these shelves to my collection as well. So Mrs. Dan has given some of the space, you know, of her new products over to me. So I'm pretty happy. So this is basically the Monster Island room. Yep, doing pretty well, Monster Island room. All right, guys. So thanks for watching this. And make sure you get your Chonky as soon as possible. Chonky is running out really fast. You know, it's 10 year anniversary for Dan Surprise. I'll be posting it really soon. So make sure you get yours on dansurprisestore.com. Limited run only. You know, maybe one of you guys will actually get an autograph. You know, it will be like a one of one, one of one autograph plush figure. So make sure you get yours really, really soon. Okay. Thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.